New and data mods are here for Farming Simulator 22, and boy, do we have a fun one for you. There's not a whole lot of mods, only five mods were released today. We have two new and three updates for all platforms, and that is it. Of course, we'll take a look at each mod, including its customization and features, so that way you can better decide which mods you want to download and which ones you don't want to download. And if you want to stay updated with all the latest mods and news in Farming Simulator, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, let's check out today's mods. Starting off today, we have the Lieber LTM 1450. The big old crane, yeah, 677 horsepower. It's got an automatic transmission, 850 liters of fuel. It'll travel at 52 miles an hour, which is super fast. It weighs 36.6 tons. Color options, we've got a Lieber yellow, but you can change that up to whatever you want. I'm kind of digging a dark gray, so we'll go there. Design color, you could change this as well. It's going to be all the bits at the bottom. And then, of course, rim colors are rim colors. We start with a Lieber gray, but you could change this to whatever you want. Would be cool to see some chrome on here, but eh, it is what it is. Let's just kind of reset this. Let's get ourselves one and load it up. Oh, <laughs> It's so large! Goodness gracious. Also, something I'm noticing is when it uh, loads in, it's backwards. So it's turned kind of around. Usually, when you've got something like this, it'll face the other way. But uh, not this one. So there you go. Uh, turning radius, super duper good. That is better than some of the semi-trucks that we've got in the game. Of course, it probably doesn't hurt that it's got, was that, eight axles? <laughs> Hey, he's even got them all set up to where they'll turn uh, independently with each other. So some of them turn a lot, some of them turn a little bit. Very, very nice. So this thing is actually really, really crazy. Let's go ahead and unfold it. And it's going to drop the uh, front crane bed. It's going to put down some stabilizers, take it off the ground. So you can turn those wheels all you want. It ain't going nowhere. And this is the kind of default setup for it. Now, when you fold it back up, of course, it'll drop the crane down to the arm and it'll bring in the stabilizers from the side. So let's extend this because I want to show you, it will actually zoom out all the way enough. Look, it's still zooming out. Ah! <laughs> so stupid. All right, let's see. Let's go, go, go. Here it goes, baby! It's absolutely massive. I think this is going to be awesome, not only for get, like picking stuff up and moving it and stuff like that, but this is also going to be really good for taking screenshots for console players. Like if you're uh, on console doing uh, videos or live streams, something like that, and, and you just want like a good thumbnail, let's see. No, Normally people use like a telehandler or something like that. However, here, I mean, look at that. Get it right out of frame. You can do it! Oh, it's so... Oh, no! <laughs> it's so, so high up there. Please let me in. I, I can't enter. There we go. All right, we're good. Now, let's bring this back in. Whenever you fold it back up, for example, all of that's going to jump back to where it is. So, uh, I'm going to bring this back in. There are a few other things that we could do. We can turn it. So, uh, just like you would if you're using a, a, another crane or... Telehandler, something like that. You can see the uh, Lieber logo there, kind of spinning. Now you can turn it if you need to. Uh, we can also bring it down. So if you need to bring that down a little bit, you can. You can bring it all the way down, or you can raise it up pretty high as well. Look at that. That is dangerous, is what that is. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring this back in a little bit. Look how cool this crane is. Now I know why you guys have been asking about it so much because it's super cool. We can also turn a full 360 degrees if you want to. Uh, this is pretty cool, I like that. And uh, let's see, have I missed anything? Oh, there are a few other little things. So uh, for example, the door opens and closes, which I find super duper cool. And I think that's it. Oh, oh, there's one other one. Let's see, we could raise and lower that up and down. Yeah, there you go. So I think that's all of the things that you could do. You can bring that in and out, turn it in circles, up and down, and spin and open the front door. There you go. Now, now let's fold it up and see kind of how it goes. It's gonna spin all the way around. Doesn't take forever. A lot of mods try and be realistic with the timing here. 
this is not trying to be realistic with that timing. My understanding is this uh, hook right here is basically like a big bag lifter. So anything that works with a big bag attachments will work with that. It will also hook up to the 20, 30, and 40 foot containers by Hispano and 82 Studio. So that's pretty cool. So for fun, let's grab one of these. We're going to grab a 40 foot container itself. Let's see. Let's go for... 40 foot high cube auto load. There we go. Let's get that. I'm also going to get a different one as well. It says it'll do 20, 30, and 40, but will it do in the fives? So I'm going to go with a 25 foot version there as well. Uh, smaller one, you know, something a little bit smaller. We'll see how that works out. Uh, I also don't know if this needs to be straight on or not. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's get over here close by. I'm also going to turn on my help window so I can see what's going on. Let's see here. We'll get this close-ish right over the top of it. Bring it down. Nothing yet. So let's spin the lever and see if that puts us in any position to pick it up. Not seeing a pickup oh there it goes unfolding itself aha uh -huh. so it turns out it was a little bit too low here we go attach ba bam <laughs> we have the container boys yeah we bring it all the way up here and i mean you you know that we're gonna raise this all the way up as far as we can right like, you know i'm going to let's put it about oh oh i backed up as much as i can but it keeps going i can't see it all right, let's drop it. Yay! Boof. <laughs> That's awesome. As for the 25 foot, I'm really interested to see if this will pick it up or not. Man, we are so far back. It's not even funny. All right, bring it out. Get right above. Oh, not right above. Over here. Maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, they, they mentioned specifically only the 20, 30, and 40 foot versions. And it doesn't look like this version is going to be able to be picked up. Yeah, it's a pretty easy, pretty easy clip there. Nonetheless, bam, what do you guys think about this? Oh, what happens if we try and fold it up while there's something attached? It's got to be bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, not the greatest. All right, good place to leave that. And your only other new one today for all platforms is going to be the Doys Do6 series remake from Blue Augen Modding. Now, we also have this guy right here, which I'm fairly positive was also made by Blue Augen Modding, but I can't find it on Mono anywhere. So maybe it's been removed. Nonetheless, we have this. We have a two-wheel drive, we have a four-wheel drive, and we have a front loader. So let's go over these options. Configurations for the two wheel drive, 55 horsepower, manual transmission, 70 liters of fuel, 18 miles per hour, and weighs 2.6 tons. As for configurations, we have design one, design two, which is gonna make it a little bit more darker green with gray wheels. And then we have design number three, which is even darker with red wheels and then back to one again. Engine options, 55 and 60 horsepower. Wheels from BKT, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Trelleborg, Vertestein, and Nokian. We also have a couple different setups, including some duels and narrow tires. If you guys want to use those, I think the narrow tires look better than anything on there, so we'll leave that. Rops. We've got on the back, we've got a uh, full kind of circular thing going on, or not a exhaust. We have standard or vertical. Passenger seating, we have left, right, both, or nada. Attachments, we have a wide setup for the front. We also have a front weight, which is going to weigh 200 kg. And back to standard again. Front loader attacher, yes or no. If you go with yes, you will have to use the included front loader. And then as far as colors go here, we do have colors for the rims on design number one. If you go to design number two, no rim color. And if we go to design number three, no rim color there either. So if you want to change the color of the rims, it's only on design number one. Now, if we go over here to the four wheel drive version, we're going to see exactly the same thing uh, with all the same setups. However, things are a little bit different when you get to wheels, but nothing too crazy. And of course, everything else is the same through there too. And we also have the front loader. This requires 50 horsepower, not that that would be a problem, and your three color options are going to be for the three designs. Oh yeah, and after a quick check, I'm looking on uh, ModUp right now. The Deutz Dio 6 series that I have installed is also from Blue Augen Modding, but 
I guess the new one with remake is, well, remade. And we only have a couple updates for all platforms today, and that's it. First one is the flatbed service truck from Mac Trucker 921 version 1201. They've added many different strobe options to choose from. They do say the caution strobe lights can trigger certain players that may be sensitive to flashing lights. Strobe lights are set to none as a default for this reason. Secondly, we have the Cow Barns Pack version 1001 modification of store icon, addition of manure for robot stable, addition of no pasture version, shift in the position of cows at the fence, support for the manure system, replacement of Lely brushes with those from the Agro Design Austria, added ball storage, maybe bale storage, I think is what they mean there, and capacity changed of mineral supplements. And to our last mod today, an update to Big Yellow Houses version 1.1. They've added Christmas lights and added glowing windows at night. And that is it. What a day. What a Friday for some mods. That crane is just the most epic thing ever. How are you going to use the crane? Or is this something you're like, why is that in farm sim? I've seen a lot of comments on both, so I would love to hear from you down there as well. Uh, if you enjoyed the video drop a like on it and get subscribed if you're new and join the goham fam double check that notification bell as well that way you never miss videos like this one here on the channel when we get some cranes oh yeah otherwise just have a great day have a great weekend we'll see you on monday